Welcome to Cooking with Latrice Sorelli, brought to you by Columbus Vegetable Oils. Today you're going to join the three girls, the sisters, it's Gracie, it's Joe, and I'm Vivi. And we're sharing with you a very healthy recipe for chicken parmesan. Of course, there's an unhealthy way to make it, and there's a healthy way. <laughs> Today we're going to make the healthy way. Well, that's good. That's what we need to do. <laughs> now, what did, what did you do to make it healthy? Well, we'll see when we make okay. it. Okay. We're going to see. All right. It. Have you ever okay. made it before, Gracie? Um, yes, I've made it, but I probably have made the unhealthy version. Yeah. <laughs> well, we all probably, so, we probably like that better. So, yes, so but, I'm know, anxious to try the healthy version. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. So uh, so we're going to get started, okay? Okay. Um, first of all, one thing that you can do is um, make tomato sauce, use jarred tomato sauce, you know, if you have mm -hmm. some already home. Um, right. You know, there is on our website already a recipe for our tomato sauce. And usually what I do is I make a big quantity of that sauce, yes. I freeze some, and Smart. then I save yes. it for recipes like this. Right. But don't be afraid to buy bottle sauce. If that's all you have time for or you have access to, that's what you should do. Right. Of course, exactly. Right. This, is a, this is a good meal whether you use, because there's other things here, so the sauce does not need to stand on its own. Right, it'd be enhanced right. by mm -hmm. the other products. Right, exactly. Right. So, so you can do that. So we're gonna get started. Uh, first thing, Joe, tell me what I'm going to do here. The fir very first thing you want to do is use chicken breast that has been flattened. Because first of all, it, uh, it looks like a much nicer sized piece yes. rather than the small ones. And if you go to the butcher, you can ask them to do it. They'll be happy to do it for you. Or if you have some aggressions, you can do it at home yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, Just exactly. pound that baby hey. a little bit. <laughs> it's not necessarily a bad thing, right? So, you know what, but you do use a boneless, skinless chicken breast. Right. right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Then we're going to take uh, the, a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, mm -hmm. and we have a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Now, I will tell you that on occasion, I have made it with um, whole wheat flour. I know you said that. So just sometimes I try to make things even a little bit healthier, but it's not necessary. But I'm just saying it's an it is an alternative if you if that's what you'd like to do. And if somebody wanted a gluten free menu, they could mm -hmm. use the gluten free flour that is out there. That's and a great And there are idea. some really good um, products. I've discovered one that I thought was very good, and it didn't require you to buy that uh, that some that certain gum that starts with an X that is you know twenty dollars a pound or something. Mm -hmm. So look for a product that's already uh, complete. Okay, so okay. I just mix that up just a little bit together. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to get started. I've got a little egg white in here. I just beat it up a little bit. I added a tiny bit of water to it just to, uh, you know, make it. Do we have to put anything in this pan before we put? I do spray it, yes, with some nonstick spray. Oh, but spray. we're going to do the boy with the saute it first. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That's okay. Go All ahead. right. So, Gracie, I'll get the fun part. Take this and put it in the egg white. Ew, I'll take okay. the nasty job. So I'm just going to dip this in the egg white. Here, I'll do the, 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 yeah, the would flour, you do? and then you can Ooh. do some more egg white. Gracie, would you give me another oh, piece? Sure. Put a piece of chicken right. in? Absolutely. Now, if you can believe this, look how beautiful these are. These are flattened by the butcher. And they're only, what, four to six ounces? So yes. it's really a uh, good yes. serving size. Mm -hmm. It's not too much. A, yes, exactly. you're getting a nice serving for right. not a lot of... There we go, Joe. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gracie, another one. And this will feed, I mean, I think four people. I'll tell you the truth. I, I only need, and Mike's a big eater. One of these pieces is enough for him. Right. I don't know about you, Gracie, right. with Brian. I know oh, one piece would be enough, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And what also you'll see when, when we make this, that one of the things I do, and you don't have to do this, but we're going to do it today. Um, I add in the bottom of the pan some zucchini and, and eggplant and mushrooms. So what makes it nice is it ends up to be a one dish meal. Well, plus two, you right. know, when you substitute vegetables for pasta, that's part of the thing that it helps make it a little bit, you know, easier in the calorie department. Now, I know you talked about that, Gracie, where like last time you would make pasta with it, which I've done also, mm -hmm. but this is just a little bit healthier version. Yes, you're, you're right. Exactly. Absolutely. Okay. No, but there's no salt in this, huh, when you do this? Well, no, but it's got cheese. Oh, that's right. You know, the that's cheese right. is nice it's, and salty. Okay. So. okay, so now I'm going to uh, heat a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And we're going to saute the chicken breasts and make them nice a little bit brown on top. Let's just pour a little bit of olive oil in there. We'll heat that up and then we'll brown the uh, chicken. Meanwhile, we probably can get the pan ready for uh, the... Oh, yes. For, okay. okay. I will spray some nonstick vegetable spray on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what I did, usually then, Joa, I added a, a, like a ladle of sauce on the bottom. Oh, so you put the sauce down. A little bit of sauce okay. in the bottom, yeah, just sort, sort of. This is some of Bibi's famous homemade tomato sauce. And but what, again, bottled, it would, 
it would work just fine. So, of course. You know? Right. And one thing too is because the vegetables, um, I don't do anything with them, they're raw. So I put them, but so that's why I like to have a little tomato sauce yes. on the bottom. Oh, Straight. there's a little bay leaf. A little bay leaf there. <laughs> okay. okay. And then we can add all the uh, uh, veggies on there. I've got some mushrooms and some zucchini and some eggplant. And you can put other things if you want to. You know, I actually mm -hmm. wanted to put some yellow squash, but I couldn't find any. They didn't have it at the store, so so that's why I just did. Look these. at these little egg, little, little oh how egg, cute. Aren't they cute. baby eggplants. Baby mm -hmm. eggplant. Yeah. That's so very I was telling even, Bibi I used white egg. I found white eggplant the other day, and I did. I did oven fried it. It was really good. But it tastes different than I they, was going to say. Does it have a different yes, taste? Yes, it does. It's, okay. It's not quite as intense, I don't think. Not quite as strong. There we go. Okay, great. So that's almost all ready there. And you can obviously add more veggies if you want. Um, but you know, that's what I, I like to make just like a layer on the bottom. Okay. Whatever veggies you like. Of mm -hmm. course, exactly. Mm -hmm. that's and nice then part. we're going to take the chicken and we're going to saute it in this frying pan. Okay. The oil should be nice, getting nice and hot. And I'm going to just layer that in there. I can probably only fit three of these because these are so big and I'll have to do the other one separate. So those are going to brown a little bit there. And uh, we'll turn them in a little bit. And then when they're ready, we'll have them brown on both sides and we'll put them on top there. Uh, so now I think it's browned enough on one side. Oh, that looks great. Oh. And then we're going to brown it on the other side. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. It, it builds up a nice little crust on there, which is real tasty when you bake it. Okay, so I think they're brown enough on both sides. Doesn't that look great, you oh, guys? Oh gosh, it baby, does. they look great. Okay, and now what we're gonna do. Uh, it almost looks like fish, doesn't it? It's, it's so interesting, white and isn't it? Yeah, it really it browns really nicely. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna take it, okay, and we're gonna lay it on top of the veggies, okay, like this, and then. We're going to put some tomato sauce wow. on yeah. top. Yeah, yeah so you guys okay. put some sauce on there. Now, do you like to go easy on the sauce, or do you put it, uh, how much, uh, tell me, I mean, do you? I, I use it all. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, it's, you're a generous sauce person. But you know person. what, though, if you don't want to use it all, you don't have to. You know, I mean, some people, yeah. but I sort of like it because I like the veggies. They get mm -hmm. sort of, they cook with the sauce, yes. and they become really tasty. Oh, I mean, really, this looks delicious. I just love this dish. and it's, I would never have thought to put a... Um, Chicken parmesan on top of vegetables. I would never have well, thought. Well, you to know, do I that. only did it because I was trying to make it a little healthier. That's really the only way. I, reason I did that. It's okay. Real, that's really Here good. Here we go. Let's okay. Put there Excellent. For the and then we're going to go ahead and put. Now this is um, reduced fat mozzarella, and okay. uh, we just can put that across the top there. Looks like spaghetti. Yeah, it's and you know, <laughs> I always try to find. I think I've mentioned before that. Um, Four cheese, reduced fat Italian, but I have a lot of trouble finding that. So this one's actually from Trader Joe's, and it came already shredded. Mm -hmm. You know, again, you know, you can shred your up, but I like to try to make things simple. Everybody's in a hurry nowadays, right. and you're busy, and you're just trying to make things easy for That's yourself right. and taste good. Still, you know, you want Plus it to taste it's another good. tool to get out and use, and then wash exactly and so. put away. And mm -hmm. and then I, I always put a little bit of uh, shaved cheese on top. You can use this is the Grana Pandano again, oh. or you can use Asiago or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, this looks delicious. And then, now one thing I do do is, and again, these are just things that I do, is I cover it with foil, mm -hmm. all right, because I want it to, the vegetables to cook, because remember, they're raw. I didn't even saute them. Right. Again, saving another step. Um, so, I cook it like this uh, at 350 for 15 minutes with the uh, foil on. Oh, that's great. And then I take the foil off and I cook it for about 20 to 25 okay. more minutes until it's brown. So I'm going to pop this in the oven right now. Cook and it for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Set that timer. Set that timer, <laughs> right. Don't forget to set your timer, yeah. girls. <laughs> Start your engine. So it's going to cook for 15 minutes and then I'm going to take the foil off in a little bit. All right, so it's baked for 15 minutes. I'm going to take the foil off. And you can see the cheese is just starting to melt a little bit. I'm going to put it back in and cook it. Uh, but I do like the cheese to get a little bit brown, so we'll wait for that, maybe about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, I think I did about 25 more minutes, and oh, this looks perfect. The cheese is all nice and brown and bubbly, and I know everybody's going to love this. And this is one dish I do let sit for a little bit, about 10 minutes before I um, start to cut it. So we'll do that too before we serve. Okay, so now we each got a little sample with a little bit of the veggies. It looks great. And Joe, what do you have for us today? We have Maggio 
Zinfandel from Lodi, California. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Gracie, do the I'm honors. Pour in the wine. I don't know, something about the way that wine sounds when it's I pouring know. is quite appealing to me. <laughs> I love the color. Look oh, at that. that's so a pretty. really rich, mm -hmm. that looks like it's mm -hmm. got some body to it, yes, doesn't it? Does. it? Okay. Well, I can't wait to just. try this. <laughs> I know, I have to try a little of this chicken too. This looks great, don't you think? Here, Grace, I'll take it. Thank you, mm -hmm. Gracie. You're welcome. Mm. Okay. Well, let's, let's dig in. Wow. Take a, take a mm -hmm. little sample. This looks so good. Mmm. I want to get a little piece of zucchini. Oh, please. That's the, I love, you know what? I almost mm -hmm. I like the vegetables, but the best part. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Oh, I like it. Mm-hmm. That's nice. One, oh, the chicken's fabulous. One, mm. one pan, mm -hmm. you're done. Okay? That's what I like. Yes. You make it simple for yourself, right? Right. Very okay. good. And I think I'm ready to dive into this baby. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> need to wash it down, right? <laughs> Cheers, ladies. As mom always said, Cooking's a labor of love. Yes. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next time. Mmm. Oh my. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever met a wine I didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> Ripple, Grace, remember? <laughs> Boone's Farm. Oh, I was going to say Boone's Farm, maybe. Mmm. <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that a lot. Delicious. Mm. Please click on the link below this video for the recipe we made today. Stand Up to Cancer is the official charity of La Tre Sorelle. Our whole family supports the Stand Up to Cancer organization.